T, Asha M. Karani, Yemhotep, Uncle Justin Eb, Duau, Duau, Duau. Welcome to the first episode of Kemet Empire. Uh, I'm your host, Asha M. Ka, Uncle Justin Eb, Life, Prosperity, and Health. In today's episode, we'll be covering Ma'at, or the virtues of Ma'at, and um, just going a little more in depth than what you normally would get other than just seeing the 42 negative confessions. We'll probably break this into uh, a two to three episode uh, ordeal for YouTube and a few others for the blog talk radio. So without further ado, let's hop into uh, uh, into what Ma'at is and what it encompasses. Um, I'd like to start with a reading of the creation story which you can find in the British Museum. This is the, the plate that they have. They have several broken up uh, plates uh, in the British Museum, several different documents. This particular one is number 10,188. Uh, papyrus acquired from Mr. A. H. Rind in 1861 or 1862. They're a little undetermined about the specific date, but he brought it over, um, and, you know, we, we, we have virtues of Ma'at ma uh, by that, that method. I want to start with the creation story, or oh, we have uh, a, a version of the creation story, not the virtues of Ma'at, uh, by that method. Um, this is the history of creation story A, and I start here for a reason, which I'll explain in just a moment. But let's hop into the text here. We're speaking, uh, or Kepara is speaking to us, and Kepara is known as the beginning, or the one of the names of the Creator, which entitles the beginning. So, here we go. Let's hop into it. Kepara states this, or actually Neber Etcher states this. Neber Etcher, the everlasting Lord states this in the form of Kepara. I am he who came into being in the form of the god Kepara, and I am the creator of that which came into being. That is to say, I am the creator of everything which came into being. Now the, thing which, the things which I created and which came forth out of my mouth after that I had came into being myself were exceedingly many. The sky or heaven had not come into being. The earth did not exist and the children of the earth and the creeping things had not been made at that time. I myself raised them up from out of new, from a state of helpless inertness. I found no place whereon I could stand. I worked a charm upon my own heart or will. I laid the foundation of things by my art, and I made everything which had form. I was then one by myself. For I had not emitted from myself the god Shu, and I had not spit out from myself the goddess Tefnut, and there existed no other who could work with me. I laid the foundation of things in my own heart, and there came into being multitudes of created things which came into being from the created things which were born from the created things which arose from what they brought forth. So let's stop right there. And let's take a look at what we know about Ma'at so far. It states here, Kepara tells us, tells us clearly, I laid the foundation of things by Ma'at, and I made everything which had form. So anything that has a form, or anything that has a shape, or anything that has existence, the foundation of that thing is Ma'at. Kepara told you this. So we know Ma'at is the foundation of all things in creation. He goes on to say, I laid the foundation of things in my own heart. He describes himself as having a heart, Kepara does, and he laid the foundation of things in his own heart. So his own heart 
is governed by ma'at, the laws of ma'at. And with that stated, we know that anything that comes into existence pretty much is going to be governed by ma'at. Simple as that. Uh, as we get into the virtues of ma'at, you notice a few things about them. Uh, everyone mentions uh, the negative confessions or they mention the virtues of Ma'at, or the 42 confessions of Ma'at. How do you like to describe it? What needs to be understood about those negative confessions and uh, the different things that embody them, or wh where do we get 42 from? So let's, let's discuss the 42. Um, if you know uh, King Kati, King Kati uh, writes uh, back in ancient Kemet uh, to his son, Merika Ra, about the uh, 42 great gods of the Hall of Ma'ati. And there's a translation, there's several translations. There's one by Maspero Birch, D.A. Wallace Budge. I've put um, some touches on it so that it will refer to everyone, not just his son. And let's kind of read. I'm just going to kind of breeze through uh, a part of, of the 42 gods, the 42 great gods of the Hall of Masi who do the judgment in the afterlife when you reach the Shatak and Tuat or the Duat, which was considered the netherworld governed by uh, Asar, which Amin Ra would pass through. They used to call it the Eru, 